Frazier, another sensational performance, 6-0, 6 KO. I gotta ask you real quick, which is more satisfying, when they don't get up off the stool or when you see them fall and the ref wave over them? Man, I just love the opportunity to be in the ring doing what I do best, you know what I mean? Uh, before we start, big shout out to everybody watching. I appreciate you guys, but I don't know, man. I really enjoy both. I don't know which one's any better than most. They're both satisfied, like, they both up there on the chart for satisfactory rate. Uh, sadly, I like when they don't get up at all. You know what I mean? I like when I put them to sleep. But uh, that comes, like, I don't have that pure knockout power where I got to put everything together. So, I like to test them, man. I'm here. I'm here. I love it. Um, about what round would you say you figured out your opponent tonight? Because this was supposed to be another step up for you, right? So yeah. uh, what round would you say you figured out your opponent tonight? No, big shout out to the man that came out. Uh, I think it was Esteban today. And, um, hey, he looked like he wanted to come back out, but I don't know. You know what I mean? Sometimes the body don't keep up with the mind. You tell the body what to do, sometimes it don't keep up. So I think he was taking too much shots, but once he let me through with the jab, everything else is gonna fall. So once I found my distance first round, seeing he couldn't reach me, just try to keep it kosher. Like when we hurt him this time, don't don't do nothing different. Just go right back to the program. And I, I hope it look nice tonight. You know? I hope it look a lot more composed. The, the buzz is continuing to grow with the Hellraiser. You continue to, you know what I mean? It's on the zone tonight. You put on a sensational performance on the zone. Eyes are on you. How does that feel, man? And give me some thoughts behind that. It's long overdue. Um, it's a good feeling. I want to say, make a big shout out to everyone that did support tonight. Big shout out to the Zone and United Promotions and the Way In for always making this happen. You know, uh, bringing you guys to us and us to you. It's, it's huge to have uh, the worldwide, you know, viewing. And to have you guys here as well. So from home right back to the worldwide, like this is what it's all about. So uh, what's next? What's next for you? Like, what would you want next? You know I, fight in, I fight in November. Right. Um, fight in November. I might have another fight after that before the end of the year. Uh, I don't think the Canadian belts are in my lights right now. I don't want to quickly rank up that way, but I want a world title, so we're going to go get it. By all means necessary. <laughs> and uh, it's time. It's so time. So we go back to the drawing board, continue to do what you've yeah. been doing. Another year, just focus and then... I think we're ready for whatever else the world has to offer. 2023 is open season. Open season, yeah. Possibly by the end of next year, like halfway through next year too. I just want to get used to the game, everything that comes with it, you know, the sales, the business, everything else. Just stay ready in the ring. Do you think that, real quick, final question for you, do you think that you have outgrown the Canadian market? It's time for you to take your talent to the international scene, the US, the Europe, the world. Time for the world, not to say the world don't see here yeah. in a part of Canada, but you think that you throw a need some balance in your sixth performance. You know what, sometimes I don't really, like I believe in myself and what I'm doing in the process and everything, the blueprint, I believe in the team and everything. It's uh, sometimes like, sometimes I don't think of myself as that person, you know, but then when I walk around and kids are like, yeah, that's Joshua or whatever. I realized at that moment that I gotta act right. I gotta make sure I'm putting out a certain presence for the future of boxing in Canada. So the boxing in Canada is gonna be ready for the world, mentally wise and physically wise. And I'm just gonna keep trying to build that energy so that the kids got it. Um, we got a bunch of young kids that are here tonight, and they're gonna be maybe future future Canadian champions, future whatever they want to be. And um, nah, you know what? The market's global, so I do want to say that it's always time to keep expanding the market um, out and about into you know where we want to be worldwide you know world titles worldwide name household name you know big shout out to everybody watching that's up 4 a.m right now 2 a.m right now watching you no know, big shout out appreciate you guys final message for your fans sure um i want you guys to just keep working hard stay dedicated and um if you guys didn't find your niche market during this lockdown i want you guys to all take your hobby and let that hobby make money with it. Um, unfortunately, boxing wasn't my hobby. It was what put food on the table. And um, I just want to say, always support your family and always, always help that pe help people. You know, because you never know what the next person is going through. So just help your fellow people around you always. And uh, I really appreciate you guys for this moment. Shout out to Wayne, man. Shout out to the team.
Appreciate you guys, man. No, no, man. Right here in the win boxing, man. You already know what it is, man. The hell raising himself, Joshua Fraker.